Hello friends, hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Uh, on this video, I'm going to be showing you all how I change my nose ring. I have a little stud, uh, like bone style nose ring and I wanna go ahead and change it for a very thin hoop. Um, I have done this video before a while ago and it was kind of rough because it was my first time. Um, but I think I got it down, pack, down packed and so I wanna show you all how I do it. So let's get to it. All right, so I literally just came from the mall and I got a nose ring over here in Spain. Um, the size was an eight millimeter, okay? It's so tiny. This is what it looks like. <sighs> All right, it is stainless steel and I think it has, it's been dipped in gold, okay, at least once. So, it's how small it is. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Okay, so like I said, I have this cute little stud. All right, I've had it for a while. Um, and it's really pretty, but I wanna change it up. Um, my hole has actually shrunk because uh, this is so dainty and so minimal and so small and tiny and thin um, that I tried to get a thicker hoop and it didn't go through. And so I wanted to make sure that I got a nice little thin one so that it fits, okay? So first thing you wanna do is that you want to clean this. You wanna clean it with alcohol just to sterilize it. And we're also gonna clean with alcohol um, our little area, okay? All right, so I've got some Q-tips right over here. I'll go ahead and spray some. I've got some alcohol in my bottle here. I'll go ahead and clean my hoop. And then I'm also going to clean around the area where I'm gonna change the ring. Let's go all the way around. Taking all my makeup off. Okay. All right, so next thing is that we're gonna go ahead and pull this bone uh, nose ring and just put your finger. I know it's gross. Put your finger in your nose. We're gonna go ahead and just Twist it around like this And it's out Whoop. See it Right there. All right, so this thing is closed, it's a circle, but it's closed. You can see the little, you can see the opening right there, right? What we want to do is, this is the circle, right? This is the nose ring. We don't want to move it like this or open it like this, okay? They're telling us, or I've heard that you have to open it like this, all right, on the side. So again, you don't wanna stretch it out. You just wanna go this way. I tried doing that last time and it didn't work. I had to open it this way. So hopefully I won't have to. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and twist it. All right, actually I'm gonna go ahead and clean it really quick. We're going to go in, find the hole and wiggle it. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. There we go. You may need the assistance of some tweezers to kind of help thread it in. To wiggle it. To just keep pushing, like I push up and into the hole. So again, push it up and then just thread it in. Up and thread it in. And you're gonna wiggle it as well. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, my nose is a little red. So now you can see the other half came out, is coming out this way. You see it right in the bottom, right there. So now we're gonna join them. Join them together. They were like this and now we're gonna whoop and join them. It could also help if you use your tweezers to like bring them together. All right, so once you've joined them together, as close as you can, you wanna hide that inside the nostril. So with your fingers or with your tweezers, just kind of push it in. And there you go. And my nose is red <laughs> from all the playing around that I've been doing. 
All right, guys, and that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and powder my nose because now it's just so red. All right, guys, so that's about it. Very easy. Like I said, make sure you have your alcohol, your Q-tips, be able to clean both your, your nose and the nose ring before you insert it. Make sure to wiggle it as you're going in. Make sure to open it this way, not this way, and to use tweezers to help thread it and to join both ends at the end. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a few messages for myself. Love you all, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Hello friends, thank you so much for checking my videos out. Um, it really does mean the world to me that you guys take the time to watch them. I put a lot of time and effort and I have so much fun with them. And so it means a lot that you guys are actually taking the time to watch them. Um, just wanted to share a few things with you all. It won't take long at all, I promise. Number one, um, I accept prayer requests. Um, if there's anything that you are going through, anything that you would like for me to pray uh, over, um, just go ahead and contact me. Uh, my email is below. You can also contact me through social media, uh, even uh, through the comments section here in this video, and I will go ahead and add you to a prayer list that I pray over. And I would love to have a conversation with you and even share what my faith is about and why I pray um, and all that good stuff. So just go ahead and contact me if that is something that you would like to do. Uh, number two, if you are on social media, you should totally be following me because I share a lot more content there. I do videos here and I post them and I have fun, but over there, especially on social media on Instagram, I share a lot more of like my family, my life, things that I do on the everyday basis, especially in the Instagram stories. Um, so go ahead and follow me. There will be a link to my uh, Instagram handler below. So you can click on it and uh, it'll take you right uh, to there. And number three is if you're not part of this family, go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, whether it's makeup, um, a recipe, a Bible study, etc. Just go ahead and join us. Uh, we have so much fun here. Like I said, I have fun filming these videos and I would love for you guys to join our fam. All right, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much. Love you all.